Well, you know the old jokes about how many people it takes to change a light bulb? Well, get ready because all of our bulbs are changing. Our Mark Barber found the traditional bulbs going away, and not everybody's happy about it. The switch has been flipped on 175 watt incandescent light bulbs. Now, the federal government is encouraging people to switch to more energy efficient halogen incandescent bulbs, compact fluorescent lamps, and LEDs. Now, I would be very concerned about it. David Drotti isn't happy he's being forced to make the switch, but he won't have any other options because the 60 watt and 40 watt incandescent bulbs will be discontinued next year. The alternatives are more expensive than incandescent bulbs, but advocates say they produce less heat, they cost less to run, and they last longer. But people we spoke with aren't on board yet. We were under the impression that the uh, fluorescent would save us a lot on our light bill, so we went in and changed out all of our bulbs throughout our house. and. Um, we waited a couple of months, come to find out it didn't do anything at all. The efficient bulbs are also raising health concerns. LED bulbs like this one contain lead and nickel, and health experts say if one is broken one time, you aren't in too much trouble. But if you're consistently exposed to it, there could be health risks. And fluorescent bulbs contain enough mercury that the EPA recommends a 10-step cleanup process when one is broken. They also say people need to dispose of the bulbs at special waste facilities. Most people are going to do just like they do a light bulb today toss it in the trash. Ben Watts doesn't want to make the switch to the greener bulbs, and it looks like he won't have to yet, because Brent Smith, the owner of Southern Lighting, is stocking up. Brent, how many bulbs do you have? Uh, we have about 10,000 100 watt uh, A lamps. He says he started collecting the bulbs about a year ago when he learned about the federal government light bulb regulation. We saw that there was going to be demand for it, so we went ahead and bought uh, and stocked our shelves full of 100 watt and we plan to do that with 60 watt as well. He says their current supply should last another year and there's a market for it. I would definitely continue to, to buy the incandescent bulbs. I like the glow, the light, the ambience that it gives versus the uh, fluorescence. In Augusta, Mark Barber, Fox 54 News at 10. Now, some South Carolina lawmakers are trying to pass what they call the Incandescent Light Bulb Freedom Act to keep the old bulbs coming and defy the federal mandate. We'll let you know how it goes. Very interesting. Yeah, something to watch.